it's very simple. Food is life <laughs> for me. I am uh, Wendy, Wendy Moise. I am from Venezuela and I have been in France for the past seven years. I am an actress and uh, even though I didn't come to France uh, to do that initially, I was supposed to stay for like a year or so, ended up staying seven and decided to uh, start my career because I fell in love with France and uh, you know, here we are. I speak five languages. I speak Spanish because it's my mother tongue being from Venezuela. Uh, my grandmother, when I was a kid, she used to speak to me all the time in uh, Haitian Creole, and so I learned that. I learned French when I came to France. English I learned because I love movies. And uh, finally, I'm missing one, I think, Portuguese. Uh, my grandmother, she will be proud. <laughs> she will be proud. Like we, we've always had like this special, really, really special connection. Uh, and uh, that the, the way, the fact that I speak uh, Haitian Creole, my brother, for example, he doesn't speak the language uh, because like she, she treated us the same. She would say everything twice, once in Spanish, once in Creole, uh, but it was like, I learned it because it was kind of like our special language because we didn't speak uh, Creole in the house, we spoke Spanish. But with her, I, I only spoke Haitian Creole and it was like our thing. With the food, she taught me how to make everything exactly as she did, so it was our thing. It was a, we have a really special connection and I miss her so much. <laughs> I have been lucky enough to be a part of uh, three different countries that have amazing cuisine. I am Venezuelan. I was born in Venezuela, born and raised. And uh, the food over there is uh, amazing. And uh, I was born in a Haitian household and my grandmother would make things from Haiti, which are incredible as well. And then I moved to France and it's one of the best cuisines in the entire world. So. Yeah, uh, surrounded by food, amazing food, and uh, I'm really grateful for it. I'm really picky as well because, you know, I expect a certain start standard with my food. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I, I have a special weakness for Venezuelan food. It's just amazing. It's just the way it's done, it's the flavors, it's, it's the way it brings people together as well because um, you know, culturally, uh, there are some dishes, for example, the Christmas dish that it's, you know, every country has like their Christmas dish and ours is something that we kind of do it as a family. It's a really complicated process. It takes ages. And uh, so it's something that we do as a family and it's a whole ritual. So it's uh, great. Uh, one of my favorite dishes from Venezuelan cuisine, uh, it's uh, arepas. Uh, and uh, it's like uh, this dough that you make with uh, corn flour and uh, you can accompany whatever you want. My grandmother, uh, she made the best arepas. She's, she was a cook and she still cooks amazingly. I miss her food every single day. It was just like, I can describe it to you, but I mean, you can't. It was just perfect. Like people would come to my house, my friends would come like to visit me and ask, "Oh, is your grandmother cooking something today?" <laughs> or like just to get her food. It was she was famous around the block because she was amazing. And um, so yeah, I'm really I'm really picky with arepas. I prefer to make my, make them myself, especially because I make them the same way my grandmother did. Since since she's the one who taught me, who taught me how to do it. How to make them and uh so it's my way of you know being close to her uh from the distance that and uh, the language so yeah this is something that my grandmother always told me to do so that they're really soft it's just kind of like play with them like this
and once you feel like you're ready to go you make a little bow with it it's actually kind of fun i used to love doing this as a kid because it was like playing with play-doh <laughs> so you make a little bow you flatten it between your hands as much as possible and then it goes to the flyer for the casserole it's going to be garlic onions uh, tomatoes uh, avocado and uh, uh, burrata. So we're just gonna let that fry for a minute or two while I take care of the tomatoes. I'm just dicing the tomatoes. Uh, put in the casserole, it's gonna melt really nicely, you'll see. Also, I'm not the best with quantities. <laughs> Us Latinos don't really deal with quantities, like we're just like, what we feel like should be best. And in the meantime, we're going to see how we are with our arepas. First good sign is if you manage to like unstick them from the frying pan. My grandmother used to make them all the time in the morning. Uh, for me, uh, I had even had a moment where I couldn't stand them because I was a kid and I would get that every single day for school and I just couldn't do it anymore <laughs> but you know it's life uh, I fell in love with them uh, again when I could make have them at home and they were warm because you know when she made them to for me to go to school they would arrive all cold and it wasn't it wasn't the same feeling <laughs> Italian cheese. We are a fan of cheese back home and uh, we tend to have arepas with them. Some herbs oh. and then I'm going to use a uh, balsamic oil. Finally I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, salt. just making it a little bit prettier <laughs> sorry guys i'm not a chef and uh, here we are a friend of mine did for me once she stayed here she needed a place to crash and to say thank you she made breakfast for me it's this casserole with uh, tomatoes and onions and uh, eggs and avocados and I thought it was delicious and so now I do it from time to time with the arepas and it's like a my comfort food it's so it's so yummy I just love it my grandmother would tell me that I probably burned them a little bit <laughs> more than I was supposed to uh, but she will be proud of the overall thing that I did a full on dish and uh, my friend will tell me that I'm missing the egg. <laughs> but I, I didn't want to use it today because it was going to be too much preparation. But 
I really like it and uh, I think she would appreciate it.